Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. We are doing a full hour of total body strength today. All you're going to need are dumbbells. Um, this is kind of a fun one, okay? We are doing three segments, no repeats. Um, everything's going to be done for 45 seconds. And each segment has some moves for lower body, upper, and abs. And then at the end, we throw in a bonus, okay? So just grab a whole bunch of dumbbells, do what you can. I'm going to pull out, um, I'm going to explain something really quickly. Lower body, you want to go a little heavier unless you have some injuries because the muscles are bigger. I mean, look at this. So think about this. This is, these are your quads versus your biceps, little, right? So quads, biceps, bigger muscles, heavier weights, smaller muscles, smaller weights. That doesn't mean if you've been using 15 pounds for both that you want to go down. It means you want to probably go heavier for your legs, okay? All right, so with that said, we're going to get ourselves warmed up. And by the way, yes, go birds. All right, release, release. Good morning. All right, warm it up here. We're in right into it today. Keep going. Let me put my timer on. Sandy, good. And keep going. Twist, twist, good. Nice. So, good morning, June, Christy P, Annie. Let's go. All right. Good. Keep going. Good morning, bananas. Good. Stay with it. It's four, three. Now, keep the twist going, but press, press. Good. Hey, Deb, Paula, Kendra. Here comes Sir Lou. Good. Here he comes. Keep going. So just warming up your body here. Okay. Mm. Hey, Rebecca. I knew you were waiting for me. Keep going. Keep going. Now, let's cross and cross. Good. Good morning, Sarah. Up, oh, Danny. Oh, hi, Lou. Guess who's here? Give me eight and seven and six, five, four, three. Okay, now, march it out, march it out. March right here. Hip width apart. Taking a big breath in. Exhale, bring your hands to your knees. Round it up for four, three, two. Back down. So arch your back and up. Breathe out on the way up. Good. Breathe in on the way down. Two, nice and slow. And up. Good. Again, take it down. Down. Two. Good. And up. 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 All right. Knees up to your chest. Knees up. Knees up. Good. So let's just warm up your whole body here. Remember, warming up helps you prevent injury, okay? By loosening up the muscles, getting some blood flow to the muscles, getting the joints mobile. Keep going. All right, arms up, look, and cross, cross. Now, what are you not doing? Okay, not this. Do you see what's happening with my back there? I don't want that. I want to be up tall, okay? My arm will come down that low, right? And so will yours. It's more of this that movement from the hip flexor. You wanna to try to avoid rounding your back. Keep going. There's eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, and four, three, two. Now march again. March, I'm gonna show you this from the side, nice and easy. You're gonna step back, open, and together. Step back, open, together. Step back, open, together. Back. Good. Good. That's lamb chop. Good. Good. Somebody sent that. Good. Yeah. Everybody. It's so funny. Every time Marta and Jim come here, they bring a, a lamb chop. I, Kendra, did you send that one? That's a little lamby. And uh, all, it seems like all the dogs love lamby. Come on. And back. Open. Nice. Again. Back. Open. Good. Last one. And back. Open. Excellent. Now, let's come down to the hands and knees. Okay, coming down. You're going to take high. Cat cow. Round and arch. So round. Now, keep that going. Oh, there he goes. Keep that going. All right, I'm going to get that back nice and warm while I read you that comment of the day. Okay? This music is very... <laughs> yeah, Sherry Lewis. <laughs> come on. This music is very flash dance. <laughs> All right, so this is from Vicky T., Good. Chris, just in case those cardio queens still need more reasons to do strength training, 
I'm sharing an article below. I can absolutely attest to the maintenance of bone density as you age. I'm almost 67 and went through menopause at 45. My first test in my 50s showed slight osteopenia, but adding HIIT classes and consistent strength training increased my bone density, and your classes, which I discovered in late 2020, have maintained this level. My last test in December 22 was unchanged. Thank you for all you do to keep us healthy and keep preaching about the importance of strength training. Right, now flatten out that back. Great job, Vicki, that is amazing and awesome. Bring your left hand behind your head. You're gonna open it up and then we're elbow to the other elbow. Open, we're really getting warm today. Good. So yes, guys, it's not just about, oh my gosh, I need to be skinny. Oh my gosh, I need to look. It's not about all about how we look. It's about how we feel. You know, it's about getting off that medication for whatever we're on the medication for, right? Whether it's high blood pressure, right? Good. Diabetes, those kinds of things. Good. One more. Nice, put that hand down, right hand behind the head, and we're gonna open up. Here we go. Up and down, good, good. All right, keep this going, and open and down. So yes, let me just give you a reminder, guys. I sent out an email this morning. Um, the step today at noon uh, live is canceled, but I did send out an email and post it on Facebook and right here on YouTube. Um, that there is a link to another one that you can try, okay? Keep going and open, open, good. Last one. Excellent, bring your hands down, curl your toes under, come back to a downward dog. Good, walk your hands towards your feet, dangle down and then bend one knee and then the other. So you're just kind of bending in those legs. A little rhythmic move there, give me four. And three, two, one more. One, bend the knees deep, roll it up. Okay, all right, so your first segment, <laughs> you're gonna do, it's not the workout, okay. Our goblet squat, which we're gonna hold one dumbbell, and we're gonna go down and up, okay? Then we're gonna hold that same dumbbell and do stationary lunges. Then the other side. Okay, so all one dumbbell for the first segment. Okay, for the first segment of length, of um, legs. So I'm gonna hold a 20 pounder. Okay, all right. I'm gonna hold a 20, you give me that? Never mind. All right, I got it. All right, I'm gonna hold a 20 pounder. We're going 45 seconds, you're gonna hold it here. We're gonna go right here, down and up. Good, okay? Not a dumb question at all, Roseanne. Ready, and here we go. Down, so Roseanne, maybe a dumb question, but is strength training only weights or does push-ups, squats, et cetera count? Yes, they do count, okay? Especially push-ups, you're lifting your body weight. So think about that, right? So say you're 130 pounds, say you're 200 pounds, you're, you're pushing your body weight, so definitely is strength training, good. Keep going, down. up, I'm off the beat, good. And down. Two, up, good, down, up, excellent. Can you hear them barking? Good, excellent, stay with it. Go down, weight is in your heels, press the floor away with your feet, and down, and up. Okay, so now, hand, right hand has the dumbbell, right leg is forward, okay? We're gonna go into a lunge, just down, two, up, okay? And here we go. Down and up for two. It's down. You're welcome, Roseanne, and up. So that's for body weight move, okay? Just think about this too, right? So say you're traveling and you don't have any weights, right? You're somewhere, you're in your hotel room. Doing squats without weight is better than not doing them at all, right? <laughs> Good, come on. And down, two, and up. Good, bend both knees. Make sure that that front heel is in contact with the floor. And I say that because sometimes when we're doing lunges, I see this like, not only the knee shooting forward, but the heel lifting up. Okay, and again, that comes from ankle mobility. So 
So if you're just like not doing any stretching or mobility, good, and stop switching legs, okay? <laughs> I don't know what they're doing, these two. Okay, left foot forward, ready? Let's go, and down. That could be why your form is suffering, right? Down. The better you can move through a joint, the better you can move through the range of motion of a muscle, the better you're gonna work the body. So do not skip the, the, the stretching and mobility. Good, up, again, down, and up. Whew, down. Nice, bend both knees, keep going. Down. Now, in each round, they're gonna be similar moves, but they're not gonna be the same. So it is no repeat, okay? So Sue's gonna be happy if she's here today. Keep going, and down, and up. You got this, good. Down, and up. Excellent, good. Hold the weight here. We're gonna go wide, up, down, and up. Okay, so it's wide, lift the heels. Ready, I don't even know what these buttons do. Ready, and go. Down, heels, down, up. So April says, is it okay to do weights on back-to-back -back days? <laughs> Not for the same muscle groups, okay? So everybody who's doing abs every day, stop doing that, okay? Everybody's like, I gotta do abs every day. I gotta do 10 minutes, I gotta get back. That's not gonna get you flatter abs, okay? So, good. She messaged the other day, Paula. She said that she was on. Good, keep going. Keep going, and down, and heels, and down, good. All right, come on. <laughs> Kendra, so, <laughs> Keep going. Somebody's here, so he's like freaking out. All right, stop. Down to the floor, you have a glute bridge. Okay, down to the floor. Let's do feet flat. We're gonna go halfway up and down, halfway up all the way down. Okay, ready? Go, so I'm sticking with this 25 for this one. Good, press your feet firmly into the floor. And good. Up, halfway down, up, all the way down, good. But when you go all the way down, don't rest your butt. So, you don't wanna, you wanna give your muscles rest. You don't wanna be working the same muscle group every day, all right? Keep going, nice. And up, down, up, down, good. That's why the program is set up like it is. And if you're like, what is this person talking about the program? My weekly program that I have put out for you every week. Three days of strength training. Keep going, and up, good. If you're following that, you should be good. Last one, and stop. Okay, now, we're gonna go to standing up. We're doing Arnold press first, then we're gonna do one arm rows, so the Arnold press is lighter than the rows, okay? So I'm gonna have my 20 out for my rows. My uh, Arnold press is gonna be 12, all right? And then I'm gonna give you some other options here. We also have, a uh, reverse fly passing, which I'll show you, and a tricep overhead. Thank you. Okay, so, move one. Watch. Alternating Arnold press. If you can't do that, alternate front raise. Okay, sound good? Ready? 45 seconds. Here we go. Up and down, good. Up. Good morning, Ronnie. Up and down. Nice, good. Now, something I see here, let me show you this. Sometimes I see this, okay? That's not good, all right? This, right, if you're like this from the start, this is not good. This is gonna tense up your neck. You wanna sh lengthen out the shoulders, lengthen out your neck, and the arm comes up without scrunching in your neck, okay? Keep going, hey buddy. There he is, he heard the word, he heard the name, Ronnie. Hi, Lou. Come on, up, go. Nice and controlled, excellent. Stay with it. And stop. I'm going to my dumbbell, one arm row on the left. Right leg is gonna be forward, tip over from the hip, not from the roundness in your back, and we're gonna pull. 45 seconds, here we go. And pull, good, pull, good. Now what are you not doing? This. Okay, let me show you. You're not doing this. 
All right, because now you're like twisting your spine. Okay, this should be pull. So, right here, everything stays still but that arm pulling up. And you're squeezing right back there in the shoulder blade to work your traps. And Ron boys, keep going. Up, good. Hey, Louie, why are you hiding? Ronnie's watching. Up, here, I'll move. <laughs> Again. And lift, good. Yeah, yeah. He's like, yeah, can you move? I need to get in my spot. You're in my spot, Mom. Come on. And up. Good. Stay with it. And stop. Good. Switch sides. Switch sides. You didn't hit something, did you? Left arm forward. <laughs> right arm down. Ready for your one arm row other side. Here we go. Up. Good. What did Mila say? I missed it. Up. Can you... Scroll up. Keep going. Come on. Come on. Keep going. Up. Good. Stay with it. Uh, I, met, I don't see it at all. Good. Where do you, I don't even see a post from Mila. Come on. Uh, good. No, it wouldn't be that far back. It wouldn't be that far back. Good. Up. Uh, keep going, guys. Come on. I know I was in a spot, Ronnie. Come on, stay with it. Last one. And stop. Now, your next move. I'm gonna use a 10 pound dumbbell here, okay? We're gonna do a reverse fly pass. Now, pretty much it's this, okay? You see this? But when we do this in a bent forward position, what happens is everybody does this, okay? So let me show you what we're gonna do. You're gonna do, Arm out, and then one up. Arm out, one in the center. So we keep switching. Ready? Here we go. Right? Good. Uh, good. Keep going. Oh, okay. Good. I missed it. Good. Keep going. And up. Awesome. Keep going, guys. Woo! Perfect. Now, again, out of the neck. If you're using momentum, your weight might be too heavy. All right? You gotta find that sweet spot where the weight is challenging, okay? But you can do everything with good form. All right? And when I say get out of the neck, I mean try not to scrunch in your neck. I have my feet wider than my hips to protect my back. And stop. Okay. One dumbbell. I'm gonna use the 20, which is like 10 pounds in each hand, holding the head of the dumbbell with my hands. See that? I'm not gonna hold here because then I'll bend my wrist. Hold the head of the dumbbell with my hands. We're gonna go. One up and down. Ready? Here we go. Up, down, again. Stay with it. Good. Up, down, two, again. Up. And lift. Good. Stay with it. Again. Up. Down. Two. Woo! Keep those abs nice and strong and tight, guys. Keep going. Up. Down. Two. Three. Nice. One more. And stop. Okay, come down to the floor. Last move for arms in this segment. I'm gonna use 17 here. And we're gonna do a close grip press. I'm gonna give a close up, Kev, so everybody can see how cute Louis is. <laughs> all right, look. Halfway up, all the way up. The back of your arm hits the floor. Ready? 45 seconds. Here we go. Halfway up, all the way up. Good. Halfway up. All the way up. Nice. Keep going. All right. So, so listen, guys. Beginners. Those of you guys just starting out. Okay. So, just like how I said on the advanced step class on Saturday, right? Maybe advanced isn't for you. Maybe there's other workouts you can try. Maybe you just do, you know, your own modifications in an intermediate class and, and, and make it advanced for you. 
So here's the other thing. This is a 60 minute dumbbell workout. You're like starting out, you're like, I'm gonna do that. But 20 minutes in, you're like, I don't think I can do it. Guess what? Stop, stop, okay. It is okay to only do 15 minutes and then build onto it as you get stronger. Don't feel like you stopping the workout because you couldn't finish it is you quitting if you plan to come back and keep trying it again, okay? All right, now, one dumbbell, we're going to abs. I'm just gonna stay here, I guess. All right, one dumbbell at the chest. We're gonna do a roll up. You're gonna go down and then back up. Okay, ready? 45, here we go. Roll and up. Good, keep the dumbbell at your chest. Don't bring it over your head. So, <laughs> but also think about that. Okay, if you're, if you're stopping at 15 minutes just because you're being lazy and you don't want to, that it's different <laughs> than being like, okay, wait, I gotta stop. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. Okay. And <laughs> Good. Keep going. Right, right? Or sometimes there's days where you're just like, I can't. I can't. And that's okay, right? That is okay. We have to stop being so hard on ourselves about things, right? Keep going. Last one. And stop. Okay, next one. Hold the dumbbell up. Okay, hold the dumbbell up. Knees directly above your hips. You're gonna extend your right leg out, tap the floor, and then back in on the other leg. Ready? Here we go. So we tap and in. Now, if you want this to be a little bit more challenging, you can bring the dumbbell back. Okay? You can bring the dumbbell back, but that's up to you, and it needs to be nice and slow and controlled, not arching your back. Keep going. <laughs> There's some craziness going upstairs, huh? Oh, Jake's here. Good. Go ahead. Mm. Good. Try not to arch your back, especially if you're bringing that dumbbell up and over the head. Good. Keep going. Keep going. And Debbie Murphy, I got something for you. And here we go. <laughs> wiki, wiki, wiki. Okay, listen. Forearm plank. Forearm plank. Hands apart. You're on your feet, on your toes. You're gonna stack your feet. Don't lift the elbows. Bring them center. Stack them, bring them center. Ready? 45 seconds. Here we go. Now hands are apart and center. Okay, so keep going. Some tips here. Squeeze your feet and your legs together. If you are on, if you have your heels behind your toes, you're gonna not be able to do this correctly, okay? You want your heels right above your toes and you wanna be on your tippy toe, tippy toe. Come on, and turn, good. And center, good. And turn, and center. Keep your elbows glued to the floor, Diane. Come on, and center, good. You got it. And up, one more. And nice, you have your first little break between rounds. Okay, now again, we're gonna do another round, but not the same stuff, okay? So it's gonna start with legs, and then we're gonna go to arms, then abs, all right? So all different moves in this one. All right. So, this time, two dumbbells, okay? We're gonna go down halfway up, down all the way up. Then we're hitting deadlifts, all right? Um, Reverse lunges, stepping back, and another kind of wide squat. So I'm gonna go, you know what? I'm gonna go to 20s only because I'm, I'm, I, have a, I have a cold going on and I just don't wanna push myself in a way that makes me worse, okay? So, <laughs> so although I wanna do it heavier, I'm not going to. Think, remember that, guys. That's okay to do, right? Okay, so we're gonna go down halfway up down all the way up all right so these are 45 seconds again <laughs> there they are debbie ready here we go Good. 
Uh, uh, lift. Natalie, I'm sorry, I missed it. Good, come on. Um, I'm guessing you met on the dead bug. Good, and I'm not sure, keep going. You're, just so you guys know, when you leave a comment, there's about a one minute delay. So when you leave a comment, we're probably already done the movement. Okay, keep going. Down, up, down, again. Good, and I have a 17 and a 20. Come on, good, keep going. I was like, why is this so much easier? Good. 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 I know I like both. I like both repeats and no repeats. I actually think repeats work better. Good. And stop. Okay, so deadlift. I'm going to stick with 20, although normally I would go heavier, just so you know, soften. If you can go heavier, go heavier. You're going to go bend in half, come back up. Ready? Here we go. Bend. Okay. So you keep going and up. You've heard me say this before, shine your light, okay? So imagine that you have a flashlight and you're holding it with your cheeks and you're shining it on that wall behind you, okay? If you're squatting, it's kind of pushing that way, right? So it's right behind you. See how my back is straight? Up. You're pushing, think of a glute bridge, how your butt would go back and forward. That's all a deadlift is, okay? Up and keep going. It is okay. It is okay to do this without weight until you figure it out, right? Because if you start with weight and you're doing it wrong, that's how you're gonna learn how to do it. Okay, stop. Holding both dumbbells, right leg and together. Staying on the right leg for the full minute. Okay, I'm gonna do 17 here. Ready? And here we go. Down, up, good. Yeah, and Natalie, you can always plank on your knees, always. Good, good, keep going. Perfect, good. Again, Stay. I'm sorry, it's all right leg, right? Keep going, all right, I was alternating. And down, don't alternate, all right leg. Come on, down, up, keep going, down. Up, good, good. And if you've been with me for a while, you should be able to know that you're what your modifications are, right? It's okay to take a modification. And whatever plank I'm doing, if you're doing it on your knees, it's perfect, right? If you're doing a crunch instead because you have to, switch. Okay, get ready for the other side. Okay, get ready for the other side. Ready? 45 seconds, here we go. Down, up, yep, again. Down. Make sure that both knees are bending. And again, especially on these, right? What we don't want is this. You don't want to sink into yourself. You don't want to, okay? Because I believe me, I see that. Another thing I see, keep going, okay? Not just this, but then because of the ankle mobility, that lifts up. And then this is a mess and just begging for injury, okay? So again, without weight, it's fine, right? And if you're doing it without weight, because you're like, you know what, let me see. Let me see if I can do it better without weight and actually get the move better. You might feel it more. And stop. Okay. Last one. Hold a dumbbell. Sorry, hold two dumbbells, one on each leg. And you're going to go right and left. Okay? So I'm going to do 20s. Wide right squat. Here we go. Right heel, left heel. Good. Nothing's moving except for lifting the heel. You're welcome, Natalie. Good. Up. Good. Up. Nice. Stay with it, guys. Come on. Up. Hey, Erica. Good morning. Up. Good. Nice. Keep going, up, whoo, and lift, perfect. Keep it going, you got 10 seconds on these, oh, these are really fun. Anybody feeling these? Me, you, keep going. Ah, come on, up, last one, and stop, come up. Okay, put them down, you got one dumbbell in the front, up, halfway down, up, all the way down, okay? So think about it, what are you gonna use? Because that's one in each hand, right? So I'm gonna use a 17, 
Okay. Because that's like our like eight to nine pounds in each hand. Okay. 45. We're gonna go. Up. Now. Okay, if you're doing this, you're doing it wrong, okay? Keep going. If you'd want to, you could kick stand a foot. This is the front of the shoulders working. You are delts, okay? Up. If you find yourself doing this, you're not right. Shoulders down, lift, lift. Okay, look, up, halfway down, not, okay. You can lift from the shoulder joint, good. Again, up, up, one more, and stop. Okay, two dumbbells. Right here, arms up, squeezing, watch. One comes down, and then the other comes down. All right, so you're alternating, lowering your row. Ready, here we go. Down, so one stays up, keep going. One stays up, squeezed, right? Not this, and also not just held in here. I know that sounds ridiculous, but like I've, see, I've also seen that. Held in here rather than pulled back. All right, so down, down, good, keep going. Down, stay with that, I'm like where's my weights? And down. Good. Now, you also don't wanna rotate at all. Dumbbell goes down toward the floor, no rotation. And down, and up, good. No rotation. And stop, all right. Hammer curls. I got 12. Probably usually you would use 15 on these. We're gonna go up and down. Are you ready? Here we go. All right, up. Now, take a look at this. My arms, my elbows, from my shoulder to my elbow stays in one place, okay? So watch what it's not. Okay, see how, um, that's not what it is. You're not moving your elbows. You're bending the elbows. Okay, another thing that I see. I know this looks ridiculous, but I see it. See this, what it does to, when I squeeze my elbows in, what it does to my back? Up tall, okay? One more thing to avoid. Look at my wrist. You don't wanna do this. You wanna keep the head of the dumbbell against the, the inside edge of your hand. So, up and down. Keep going. And, sorry, last one. And stop, okay. Standing or seated. This works a little more core when it's seated. Okay, I'm going 10 pounds. I gotta get my other 10. Feet wide, if you have to do it standing, standing you can. Right here, right and left, okay? So it just works a little bit more core to do it seated. Are you ready? Here we go, up, okay. Option, you could do front raises again. Keep going, good, 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 come on. Sue, I thought you got your three hugs and then you left me. You go, I'm good, come on. And lift, good. All right, Jenna. Did you guys see Jenna, how she dressed up as um, Slash for Halloween? She looked so good. Ah. <laughs> come on guys, 10 seconds. Lift. And up, good. Last one. And stop, good. Put it down, all right. Option one, dumbbells, Russian twist. Feet can be up. If you can't do that at all, you can crunch side to side. Okay? All right, so I'm going to 12 pounder. Ready? We go. Side to side. All right, Jim and Marta, let's go. Side to side, good, nice. Twist from the navel up. 
Stay with it. Keep going. Keep going. Sorry. <laughs> I got a scratchy throat. Keep going. Luden's cough drop. Good. Stay with it. Good. Where's Misty? Keep going. Up. And that's for Barbara, too. <laughs> Keep going. Oh, wait. No, actually. That's not Billy Madison, but it is Adam Sandler. Keep going. Come on. Five seconds, guys. About five seconds. Mm. And stop. Okay. Come on down. Option one. Full crunch without a dumbbell would be here. Bringing your knees in, reaching for your heels. With a dumbbell, goes dumbbell here to the shins and then extends. Let's do two and two. Ready? 45 seconds. Here we go. Up. And out. Good. Control it. All right. Let's go. Lisa, Sandy, Heidi. Awesome. Keep going. Try not to hold your breath. Again, not arching in your back. Good, keep going. Last one. Stop. All right. Dumbbell straight up. Straight up. Bring your left leg to the dumbbell and your right one down. Hold it. Switch. Here we go. Four, three, two, switch. Okay, so bring that leg to the dumbbell. Switch. And now if you have to bring your arms a little farther down, that's okay. Switch. And down. Two, three, switch. So glue the leg to the dumbbell and switch. Try not to arch here. Again, up, two, three, switch. All right, Yvonne and Iris, let's go. Up, two, three, and switch. Good, one, two, three, switch. Good, two, three, last one. One, two, and three, and nice. All right, guys, quick little break before we hit your third Round, okay? Quick little break, grab some water. All right, so, to throw a little love out to some of my newest monthly supporters, Mandy G and Lindsay C. Thank you, thank you so much. For those of you guys who sent some love recently, Erica S, Shelly Root 66. You got this girl, okay? Grace L, thank you guys. Your support is very, very much appreciated. Okay. All right, next round, one dumbbell, side to side squats, make that dumbbell somewhat heavy, okay? Um, I would probably normally use a 30 here, okay, but just for today, today, again, I'm not feeling 100%, so I'm going to go a little lighter, side to side, ready? Here we go, side, good, side, now, keep going, what is it not? What is it not? Keep going. It is not, it's not a side lunge. So make sure you're bending both legs, right? You're bending both legs. Focus on your form, not just getting it done, right? Good. Thanks, Christina. Awesome, good. Down. Good. Perfect, keep going. Right, Sandy? Isn't it crazy? And down. Yay, Jim. Come on, buddy. Stop. All right. One dumbbell for a staggered deadlift. Right heel is back. Left foot is flat. Left knee bent. You're going to dip. You're going to tip in half over that leg and then come back up. The weight is on the side of your leg, not in front of it. Ready? Two and two. Down. Up. I'm going to go a little slower than two and two. Okay. 
So this is not a lunge. You're tipping again from the hips, all right? Your flexibility may, may be, is definitely part, part of this movement, okay? So if you can't touch your toe, that's totally fine. If you're only going to your knee, but your form is correct from here, you're still gonna feel it. So it's not rounding, because that's gonna feel your lower back. It is down here and up, okay? Down, two, up. Keep going, keep going. Down, up. Yeah, Christina, it is new. Good. And up, and stop, switch legs. Yes, that is new. Somebody asked for a monthly receipt and the only way I could send it to them was to send it to everybody. Okay, you ready? Here we go. Down, and up, good. Down. Uh, so yeah, somebody asked, somebody said that they get reimbursed by their company for paying for a monthly fitness thing. So you should probably check with your company if you're working for somebody or if your your health insurance pays for I'm not sure. But um, I am sending monthly receipts for those of you guys who do pay monthly on my website. Okay. Um, also, if you get an email saying it was canceled, your monthly subscription, sometimes that's because your credit card was expired or something happened with your credit card. Um, and just double check that because I get that often that the payment was failed. And stop, good, all right. Woo, walking lunges, all right, walking lunges. Um, I'm fading a little, so I'm gonna go no weight, but you guys pick up weight, you pick up weight. I'm, I'm like, all right, so, big step, up, other side, and up, all right? So big step, you can do four in one direction or two in one direction, whatever you wanna do. Here we go. So big step, bend both knees, and up, other side. I'm, use, I'm not using weights, but I do want you to use them if you have them. And down, good. I probably would be using uh, somewhere between 15 and 20 pounds for myself on these, just so you know. Good, big steps, and up, good, keep going. <clears throat> down, and up. Right, good, so you wanna bend both knees. And a lot of times people think that a walking lunge means that you're like, you know, you're not put, don't shoot the hips forward. You wanna go down, down, step up, then down, right? It's not, even though it's forward, you're not shooting your knees or your, your heels forward. Okay, one more. Stop. All right, one dumbbell or two. Push, push. Right? Okay, thank you, Ronnie. <laughs> okay, so either one or two, I'm gonna hold a 17. Ready? Here we go. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Good, come on. Good. Press through it, good. good. Keep going. So yeah, any of you guys who are monthly supporters on my website, you will get an email. Um, from now on with a receipt for your monthly support. And I thank you guys for that, thank you. Good, keep going. Stay with it. <laughs> what are you doing, Anna? <laughs> there's, there's two dog beds on a couch over there and she's literally looking at each one like, huh, huh. Am I gonna make the right choice? Which one do I wanna get in? <laughs> Stop, woo! All right, all right. We're going to a lateral raise, side raise, side raise. If you want to make this harder, you can do it on your knees. Anna is excited right now. Okay, I'm gonna use ten. Um, I'm gonna use eight pounds. All right, I'm gonna use eight pounds. Forty-five seconds. We're gonna go up two, down two. Here we go. Forty-five and up. Two, and here we go, 45. Come on, <laughs> thanks, go. Here we go, yo. Once again, okay, if this is you, that's not good, okay? We don't wanna hurt ourselves. We wanna do things with good form here, right? Keep going. So again, sometimes the way to do that is to work on the movement without weight to get the movement before you try to add weight to it, right? Come on. Up. 
That's so funny that uh, Kendra and Donna both are called Anna Goldilocks. Good. <laughs> Last one. And stop. Okay, so next move is a little weird, okay? I want you to think of when you go, with, we'll go to the gym, right? And you see people between the two cables and they're going like this, right? They have cables on each side and they're lifting. So you're gonna take dumbbells. I'm gonna use seven pounds for this. Actually, I'm gonna use my new sixes from Audrey. We're gonna lift with elbows bent. It's not a curl, it's not straight. You're gonna go up and together and then down. Look, up and together. Ready? 45, here we go. Up and down, good. <laughs> yeah, I was like, huh. <laughs> up, I know. I was like, what is Donna saying? Good, and then what is happening? Up, up, good, good. Uh, so Karen, I have to tell you, um, somebody gave us Buckeyes in, um, uh, in, in Cleveland. And you know I love chocolate and I love peanut butter. I was not a fan. I hate to say, sorry, sorry. You wrote it up. I'm not, I don't know why. I don't like the peanut butter that's in a Buckeye. And stop, whew, those are fun. Okay, we're going to, where are we at? Kickbacks, kickbacks. But now, these are going to be back and bending in slowly. So one back, three in, okay? I'm gonna get you started here. I'm gonna use eights. Get ready. In three, two, one, here you go. And back, in, two. Yeah, Donna, it's your Siri that has a dirty mind. Come on, come on. And back, ah, good, come on. That's all right, Kev, that's all right. Again, and back, in, two, again. I put it right there though, because I, good. Again, again, good. Oh, Buckley's is cough syrup. Oh, I thought it said Buckeyes, like, ha, good. I thought it said Buckeyes. I was like, no, I don't like those. <laughs> come on, Buckley's cold syrup. I really love NyQuil, I'm telling you right now. <laughs> come on, and I hate to say that. Good, keep going. And back in, everybody's got it. Everybody has a, um, last one. And stop. Okay, so we're gonna go to Skull Crusher. All right, but listen, come on down. <clears throat> Between two and two and come on down, we got all of the all of the game shows covered, right? Okay, come back to 90 degrees. Have the outside edge of the hand against the dumbbell. You're gonna extend one up and down. So one's always at 90. Ready, alternating, right up and down, and then left up and down. Here we go. And okay. What's that, Kev? Pressure luck. No whammies, no whammies. Good, keep going, good. Whew, and extend. So the arm comes down to 90 degrees, all right? So for some reason, when we're in a class and I do this, I see people doing it, they're up here all the time, and that's not what we're doing. We're at the bottom, you're in the isometric 90 degree. Good. Our house usually doesn't sound like a barnyard. Keep going, <laughs> keep going. Good, come on, up. <laughs> yes, it is. Good, keep going, stay with it, stay with it. Good, signing off, time to cool. All right, Michelle, have a good day. Woo, I know, I was like, I need Buckeyes for my cold, what? And one more, and stop, good. I think we have Buckley's down here. I feel like I've seen it. Okay, listen, why <laughs> show Put a dumbbell down or not, okay? On your hands, you're gonna go in, side to side. Now, another one you can do here is Walk your legs over one at a time, okay? If that's too much, okay? Ready? Here we go. 45, good. This song is kind of Gaga-like, right? Come on. Fake Gaga. <laughs> Christy, how's your foot? Keep going. Keep going. Nice, stay with it. Right? Good, stay with it. Awesome, stay with it guys, keep going, keep going. Oh, the water over there, stay with it. Seven. Stop. Whew. 
Okay. What do we got? What do we got? Okay. Oh, side crunch on elbow. So come to one side. You're on your forearm. Option one, one knee to the bot. So top elbow to bottom knee. Option two, both knees. Option three, both legs. Oh, ready? Go. So option one is here. Now, another thing, you wanna stay out of your neck over here. You don't wanna sink down, okay? Cause you're not gonna feel anything here. Good. Come on. Option two, both knees. <laughs> what? I know, Christy, but your shoulder's fine now, right? Once you break your, once you break your shoulder, once you break your foot after you break the shoulder, everything's fine. Give me all, come on, and uh, oh, good, come on, good. Marlene's like Joni. Did you also used to be a dentist? One more, and stop. Good, switching sides. Ready? Get there. Here we go. Option one, knees in. Good. Good. So here's option one. Option two, both knees. We're almost through this, guys. And in. Good. Or here. Thank you, Chelsea. Great job. Oh, I'm so glad you were live. Awesome. Good. Good. Keep going. Up. And again, not sinking in here. And the funny thing is that a lot of people, but if I do this in a class, I'll tell people, get out of this. And they don't even know they're doing it, okay? So, can you lengthen the space between your shoulder and your ear? And, because that's gonna work both core there. Good, come on. Ah, good. Last one. Stop. Woo, okay. Okay. Bicycles. For bicycles, you can go one leg, okay, or here. Actually, let's all do this, okay? So let's all do this, let's get that form correct. Ready? Here we go. So now, what I want you to think is that your, go ahead, that your spine is on a, oh my God, a thin balance beam, on a balance beam and that you're not doing this. Because if you're doing this, you're just rolling all over the floor. And if you're on a balance beam, you would just fall off, okay? So you wanna just turn just enough from your midsection and bring the knees in that you're not gonna fall off and you're using the core to make that twist happen, okay? Good. You're also not pulling on your head like this so you can't talk, right? Your elbow goes to the sky. Good, up. Good, keep going. And stop. Okay, last break before we have one full round of one minute each, four moves, okay? The moves, four moves, just finish it. This is your finisher. With dumbbells, squat, press, down, release, okay? That's first. Second move, dead row. Okay, so compound moves. Third move, hammer curl. Sorry, um, it's back, curl, back, and then switch. And then one on your back, okay? Which I'll show you when we get there. Okay, so pick up your dumbbells for a squat press with, um, uh, with overhead, okay? I would normally use probably 15. I'm going 10 today. Ready, one minute. Here we go. Good, thank you, Britt. Well, Guys, thank you. So Britt says, I love how you're always reminding us of good form. Yeah, because you know what? <laughs> I don't want you to get injured, right? I want you to do good form here. That's why I talk during my workouts, right? <laughs> There's nothing worse than when I see a no talking workout and I see someone doing this move like this. And that's how they're showing you how to do it with no talking and no form cues. Okay, so please watch out who you're working out with. I'm not saying it has to be me. All right, I'm not saying that at all. I'm happy if you're working out, but also make sure that you're working out with someone who gives you information about what you're doing and make sure they're also trained in what they know that they're doing, right? They know they have a certification, they've either gone to school, whatever, okay? And stop. 
Okay, dead row. I'm going 20 pounds. I probably would normally do 25 here. Okay, we're gonna go to the knees, up, down, and then stand up. Okay, ready? Here we go. Down, up. Now, someone asked a couple a couple weeks ago a question. How come some days when we do rows, some days when we do rows, we do them bent over the whole time? Hey, Jake. And other day, and other days, when we do them, we do, go forward and then we stand up. These are two different moves, okay? When you do the dead row, you're adding glute work, core work, and hamstrings. So when you just do a bent over row, you're just working the, arm, the back. Although you are working the core a little bit too. Keep going, down, up. Again, just don't turn anything off over there, guys. Go on, 18 seconds, let's go. These are not repeated, guys. You're almost there. Down, up, stay with it, come on. <laughs> I know, Jackie. Hey, Bobby, come on. Oh, good, good. And stop, good, okay. Now we have reverse lunge. You're gonna go lunge, curl, down, and switch, okay? Um, I'm gonna use 12s, all right? You ready? Here we go, one minute. Lunge, let's twist your curl so your palms are up. Let's twist your curl. Down, curl, good. So if you guys noticed on Tuesdays while the mobility challenge is going on, I've been just adding the stretch to the end of the Tuesday workout. Um, and people are like, can you do this more often? Can you just add a stretch at the end like this? And I'm like, well, you know, just so you guys know, if you need more of a stretch, you could actually just do one of the stretch videos. <laughs> right? You could just do one of the 10 minute stretch videos after. You don't have to be like, oh, I need more stretch, but I'm not gonna do it, right? Good, keep going. Bend in, stay with it. Bend the knees, curl it, almost there. Good. Curl. Perfect. Last one. And stop. Okay, we have one more move. Come to your back. Core. One more move. Come to the core. Good job, Shelly. Lift your hips up. You're on your toes. If you can't be on your toes, you can do it with, a, with the feet flat. One minute. We're going to go knee in and down. Knee in and down. You ready? Here we go. One minute, good. All right, oh, Kev says, we're in it. You're in it. Hi, hi, Lou. Okay, we got some entertainment here, too. So keep your hips lifted. Hey, buddy, keep going. Hi, what do you got? Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> keep going, keep going, oh my God. <laughs> hi, Anna, <laughs> keep going, good. This is what happens, right? <laughs> good. Stay with it. Good. And up. Nice. Good. Can you pause the music, Kev? Keep going. Because it stopped. Good. And up. Oh, my gosh. Just so you guys know, down here, we have Kevin. We have Jake. There's two guys from, like, I don't, like, the public service here. <laughs> good. Keep going. <laughs> Keep going. Stay with it. And in and out. In one more. And stop. Bring your knees to your chest. Good job. Oh, good. Stay. Mar <laughs> Martinez in the house. Good. <laughs> Stay there. You should show them the Louis kit. Are they in it? Are they in it? Good. Bring your knees over to the right. Oh, he left. Good. Knees over to the right. Hold it. Maybe. Stretch out that low back there. Good. Just hold it. Oh. Bobby, did you set that big grandfather clock back an hour? <laughs> and stop, switch sides, good. <sighs> Martinez, the mar mobility stretch videos are awesome. I love doing them before. Yes, I love that. Awesome. Yeah, you should, guys. Definitely try them, right? I mean, and it was funny. I don't know if you guys saw the other day when Michael was here. Michael and his sister started doing them. 
I guess for the first three days, and I didn't know if they were sticking with him or not. So when he was here live the other day on camera, I go, don't forget to do the mobility. And I look at him and I go, how are you doing with that? And he just like looked away from me like, oh, <laughs> good. Come up, pull your left leg up. Hold it right there. <laughs> he looked at me like, um, uh, yeah, I don't think I'm doing it anymore. <laughs> Flex your foot. Here's the thing, guys. With that challenge, part of it is being able to just slow yourself down a little bit, like for 10 to 20 minutes, right? So what I don't want you to do is get yourself in like a big tizzy because you didn't do it, right? Or be like, oh God, oh, it's a stressful thing to do it. The thing is that if you do it, it will cause you a little bit less stress because you're actually slowing your body down. So if you're thinking to yourself, oh God, you know, oh, I can't do it. And maybe that, that anxious and worried that you can't do it feeling will go away because really 10 to 20 minutes what is that right <sighs> also can help you be more productive good good and come up legs out good legs out reach it over uh Teresa awesome workout thank you good thank you thank you so much Teresa good uh Joyce thank you Cynthia great job yay thanks Christy I know yeah so guys I'll be uh the the, the noon step class today is what November what sixth I think I think it's November 6th yes November 6th switch sides um November 6, 2023, no step class live today. I canceled it just because I don't want to push it. I thought that maybe if I did this, sometimes you know you could sweat it out and it feels better. That doesn't feel like the case. So, <laughs> so I am not doing step at noon today and keep your eye out for an email just in case I'm not doing live tomorrow. I didn't say I'm not doing it. I just said just in case, okay? <laughs> don't start a rumor. <laughs> Good. Come up, last one. Head over to one side. Rumor has it. Good. Yeah, it relaxes you. That's wonderful. Good. Awesome. Plus all the places I went to shoot. That was fun. Other side. Oh. Good. All right. Back up to the center. Give me a big breath up and in. Hands together and down to your heart. You guys, awesome job today. Leave a comment and a like. I really, really appreciate it. You guys rock this workout. Bye-bye, guys. Thanks.